Remote sports broadcasts have increased even before the COVID-19 pandemic made them necessary. While they are more cost-effective, remote broadcasts can lack extra details that on-site broadcasts feature. Ian Sachs explains where these broadcasts still fall short. You're driving down the highway and all you can see is out of your part of the front windshield. That's Coyotes play-by-play -play announcer Matt McConnell discussing what it's like to announce a game remotely. Coyotes counter with a shot, they score! Instead of being in the arena and seeing everything that's transpiring, the announcers call the games off monitors as if they're watching on TV themselves. For the Coyotes and Suns, this setup was in place for the 2020 bubbles as well as road games in 2021. These remote broadcasts present numerous challenges for the production crews as well. Everything had about three more layers of complexity when it came to fine tuning what we wanted to do. Everything was bursting at the seams. We could not have added one more thing to any of our shows. While all these challenges have made it difficult for the broadcast team to enjoy this magical run for the Suns, 8-0 in the bubble, the trip to the NBA Finals a season ago, now that the team boasts the best record in the NBA, well, it's a somewhat return to normalcy for the crew as they can travel once again. It's as close as it can be to being back the way it was. We still have certain health and safety protocols we have to follow. When you're on the road, you might see a coach or a player in a coffee shop. You may do a little bit of a conversation at that point. It certainly has gotten a lot better. While the initial protocols have lessened, the broadcasters and reporters are still restricted from the locker rooms, but both Adlock and McConnell hope to see pre-COVID norms return sooner rather than later. In Phoenix, Ian Sachs, MCO 531.